is Jenna. Happy holidays, everyone. Post Christmas into the Hanukkahs, into all the other、um, holidays that are around this time of the year. I'm playing some Maple Story again. I was gonna play Pokemon, but then I realized I'm off track for a certain schedule. Can you believe that we have schedules or mental timing schedules in Maple Story? Can you believe that? Oh, that's just a black screen. <laughs> and there's the maple. And let me check my audio real quick. Okay, we're good. I just was checking on something and <sighs> someone had talked about their audio interface. It's not the same one I use, but it's the same concept. Basically, their audio port had four little things. Where multiple people can be plugged into it. So let's say, like, you have a like a podcast. You have multiple people. You can all, all be plugged into one device, which is more convenient for recording purposes. Anyway, I was just realizing they like press the button, and then that that's like what makes the audio clearer. Because you had to mute the other channels, and I was like, wait, I have an audio interface that has two channels, and I do not mute the other one. But I mean, there's nothing plugged into it. But the buttons for it are still on, like instrumental and air. So I'm kind of worried. I was gonna press the button before we began our stream, but then I was like, oh, what if I fuck up all my audio settings, which very well might be the case. I don't know. I don't know how bad my audio is. We'll see. No,、oh, that's not me. Hello. I don't like these eyes, <laughs> at all. Oh my god! Now my keyboard setting is looking different. Um. Oh my goodness! I just realized like it's been so long since I've trained my main that I don't fucking remember how to train it. Anyway, we're not training the main. We're doing other things. Um. If I can hit the right key on my keyboard. Do do do. I'm going back to my original. We need we need the the lore to come back.、Mm -hmm. Anyway, I just wanted to quickly check in on my main, see how it's going. Do some monster collection real quick, and then I'm gonna be training in Burning World. Oh shit! Oh wait, it's reset. Should I just do my dailies? Fuck it, we do dailies so I don't have to be in pain later. Let me get my audio settings. That's so fucking loud. Why is why is my audio level at a hundred? I don't know. I think it's because my own streams are very quiet. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing the thing. We're going home. We're decorating our house because we can afford to in the game because it's free. Hmm. We didn't put a second garland up. More garlands. I hate managing furniture slots. I can't. Okay, the audio is way too loud. <laughs> Hopefully, it's not too loud on your end. If it is, well, you're just gonna hear music then. <laughs> yes, expand. Oh shit! I just used all my coins. Oh yeah, I do not sell that often. I'm a hoarder. I'm a hoarder in real life and in, in the game. Actually, mainly in the game. I feel like in real life, I go through phases where like I throw stuff out, and then, and then later on, I'm like, shit, I kind of needed that. Like I threw out this like racer looking jacket, and then a few months later, I was like, oh snap, I was dressed up like a character, and it would be great if I had that jacket. But I did not. It was depressing. Oh, 
Oh, oh my god. Thank you, Barka, for the tier 3 subscription. 16 months? Damn. What are we all doing here? I feel like... Um... Like, I don't really consider myself a streamer. But I'm like, I guess I am. Whoa. Like, I was looking at some mutual friends that I've... Or I guess you can call them friends. <laughs> some mutuals I met on Twitch, and they do such a better job at this than me. And I'm like, damn, y'all are good. Sprinkle window? Yes, replace the that window with Christmas window. Now the windows are mismatched. I... Uh, no. Uh, store that and put that down here. Really? The chandelier is gonna get in the way? How is that fair? Anyway, whatever. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Christmas is fine. In the game. Also, someone gifted me the Blackpink set. Shout out to my friends. Um, I got the Blackpink set that has the roller skates. Thank you so much. I appreciate. I do want the black set still, so I'm kind of like going for that as well. How was y'all's uh, holiday? Your Christmas, your Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, all of it. I... Oh shit. Not here right now. Not here right now! I can't- Oh shit, I didn't do Legion yesterday? Oh no. Damn. This is the one time where I- <laughs> I- Well, recently more so. I have been- Playing Maple Story while I'm online so it notifies everyone that I'm playing the game. But this time I logged in as invisible to like not dox people by the. What is it? By exposing all their conversations. Like honestly, you could probably just like have an entire stream of just looking at this like chat window with the like friends talking. Disappointed, depressed, and angry? Why? What happened? For Christmas, I got a fucking uh, headache. <laughs> like, not, not physically, but like... The things that have occurred... Were something else. <laughs> I will say that. It's deadass... Barely... Legible? Oh, the, the chat window? I'm sure someone would be like... People in the Maple community are weird. I would know. I'm weird. Um, so some people are nosy. Some people might be reading that the entire time. Because sometimes people be saying some shit on that window and I'm like, Oh, maybe I should have uh, been streaming. Anyway. I've, we've had, you know... Not full on doxing, but more like embarrassing contents over there. You don't know, it's just people I feel used. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. <sighs> sorry, I didn't I didn't get to answer any of your messages yesterday because I was a little like a little dissociating, like I was a little gone to be honest. Um like I could really I don't even know what I did yesterday. I really can't tell you. Like I really can't tell you. I did go and grab food, and then I ate it, and then I don't know what happened, like, for the rest of the day, honestly. Like, it- like, so much shit happened to me yesterday, like, um, it was just like, it's not, like, necessarily a bad thing, but it's just more so, like, I thought my situationship had ended, like, the book- this chapter had closed, both of my situationships, I would say, that were currently present, 
and I was like, okay, this is the end of the chapter, kind of fun, kind of amusing, and then, and then, you know, boom, it's wide open again. Not to say that I'm about to get into a relationship, no, it's more so like, what the fuck? Like, I was just receiving some news that was like, oh, oh, why did you tell me this? Oh. Anyway, like, my expectations for people are non-existent and somehow I managed to get hurt and disappointed. I'm sorry, Barca. Um, I was telling my therapist, I was like, you know, typically I am, uh, like, really sad and depressed because I'm, like, alone and, like always alone but then i thought about it more and i don't know if it, this is just like my depressing language but i was like you know at least i like around this time of year i could save some money in my wallet because uh i have no one to chop for you know that's the vibe and like because i didn't get any christmas gifts not to like receive emp like sympathy or like feel bad but like no that's just i don't really my family doesn't really celebrate christmas so um yeah so that was my mindset i told my therapist that and she's like i guess you could look at it that way and i'm like yes i will because if i look at it in the other way where i have no one to shop for and um because that's just gonna make me depressed which i already am but i'm not gonna look, think about it like that for now <laughs> maybe i'll dissociate even further later anyway um i had i had a second point to that I don't know. I started. I my here's a mental health update. I started being like, I watched a movie recently, and basically in the movie, it's just like the person was in a relationship. It was like a, it wasn't a rom com at all. It was just romance depression. Like, it wasn't com comedic. It was just sad. Um, I recently watched the movie, and it was just like someone had a chronic illness. And I was just like, you know, maybe maybe it's better off that I'm not like too much in people's lives, because then like, like then like, you know, um, my mental health could or like my health in general affects other people's health. I don't know. Does that make sense? <laughs> like. Like, I want people to care, but then I'm like, is it selfish to have people care, knowing that, like, I engage? Like, I'm, like, a ticking time bomb? Anyway, we, uh, <laughs> we engage in some mental health struggles over here. But, you know, I'm fine, I guess. Why am I saying you know as if we all know? I don't know about that. <sighs> anyway, that's my crisis. That's my Christmas. Yeah. Anyway. I'm just living every day. If I'm quiet and chat, it's because you just can't be bothered. By typing. I hope no one finds that war that conversation worrisome. I have a therapist. <laughs> I don't know. Holidays are hard. And, um... I don't know. I just, I was talking to people and I was like, I was starting to realize, like, is it our generation to be like, like, I feel like you need, like, people need to tell their friends that they love them more. Like, they love and appreciate them more because, I don't know, I grew up in an environment where, like, like, I wish, um, like when I was younger, I wish I s said that more. Obviously, I do more so now. Like, I love, appreciate you and stuff. But. Yeah, not me. Not me uh, releasing tidbits of my uh, lore, my mental trauma. Anyway, I digress. What I'm trying to say is that. And tell your loved ones that you love them. You know, if you care about someone, <laughs> let them know because I think that I think that would be a good thing to let someone know that you care. 
and that you you don't feel like a burden, you know, or like they don't see you as a burden. Anyway, <laughs> we love depressing depressing chats. No, but like I'm okay. I got a therapist. I got. I got concerts to look forward to. <laughs> Honestly. I don't know, maybe that's why I like concerts so much. It's just like, I'm transcending. I'm like, just vibing to music. Nothing matters in this world. Just having a good time without being uh, inebriated and like, blacked out. Not like to say that that's necessarily a bad thing, but I'm just like, I don't want to engage in that behavior. I got other self-destructive behaviors. But anyway, I hope whatever you're going through, Barca, I hope you, you know, can solve it or like find some peace or something. Well, it's pretty vague because I don't really know what's happening, but I do hope everything works out. Anyway, but yeah, life goes on. We continue on. Like, I am probably going to be roller skating today if it's open. <laughs> it's crazy. It's to think that, like, wow, it's a Monday, the day after Christmas, and we just all return back to our normal lives of work because capitalism. But then also, like, to all the um, healthcare professionals out there, like, wow, bless, like, thank goodness we still have, like, people who are willing to, you know, put other people first, I suppose. At least that's how I look at it. I also saw this, like, TikTok about, like, how the mean girls in school end up being nurses, and I'm like, that is so wild. But I also can see that point, because... I don't know, I, I come across like nurse talk, but then it's like more so the sad side, like the reality of nurse talk. Where it's like, um, where it's like, they're literally crying during their break because the mental is like too much, which I feel for them. Not even because of the their patients, probably just like toxic work environment. Anyway, I digress. I hate situationships. I feel stuck in three and like two things are already um, suplexing my mental. Oh no, I'm so sorry about that. How are you stuck in three situationships? Oh my. Do you have Rizzaroni though? <laughs> I was just thinking about that. I was like, Rizzaroni. Rizcotta. Anyway, I hate the word Riz, but like if you like say it like that, it's kind of funny. Why did I open Instagram? I opened Instagram on my phone to look at something, but then I forgot. I don't know. I kind of I'm I'm li I'm just taking things slow. Oh wait, I I looked at I opened Instagram to check on the schedule for this roller rink. It doesn't say that they're necessarily closed. It says a, it says tomorrow they'll be open, and it says yesterday they'll be closed. So I think they're open today. You don't know. It's like I want a committed relationship, and people either want kids, which hell to know, or just like casual stuff. And I'm like, I don't feel comfortable either. Same, same. I was just thinking about that in life where. Like, I want to be committed to someone. Like, I want, like, a long... I don't know. I, I used to be a serial monogamist. So, like, obviously, I'm, that's, like, my like old lifestyle. But, like, I feel like, do people feel like kids and, like, marriage are the end game? I don't know. I feel like that isn't the end. But for a lot of people, it is. I don't know, like, 
I'm starting to get much older, and I cannot believe that I am approaching the age where people I know might get married, except none of my friends actually believe in marriage anymore. <laughs> like, also, I feel like a lot of my friends are just like, uh, I can, I really can't see my friends really dating either, but if they do, good on them. I feel like we all equally have, like, really high standards, which is a good thing. Like, no, don't lower your standards to appease other people. Because then you're just going to be, like, so unhappy in life. Anyway. Um, but I'm not really about that casual lifestyle either. Because it's just, like... I... I, I don't know. I can't just be casual. Like, I need someone to annoy it all the time. <laughs> like, you know, the flirt switch comes out sometimes, but it's not like I like being a cunt. Is that- I hope that's what you're trying to say, flirt? What does that mean? Like, how are you being a cunt if you're just flirting with people? I think being flirty is just fun. <laughs> is it not? I don't know. But also, I've... I don't know. Like... <sighs> I want to preface that I'm doing okay <laughs> also. But just like... Do I... For me, I feel like it's like really hard to enter a relationship again because it's like I need to know that someone I don't know, is it selfish for me to like enter a relationship if I'm like a ticking time bomb? If like I can't even get my own mental health in order? But then also I feel like, oh my god, when I was in severe depression um, in one of my previous relationships, like it's the it's like you're I feel like you have certain expectations of like the people that you like especially your partner like I can't have a partner that just that's just gonna tell me hey bro just touch some grass <laughs> you know like essentially yeah I, I need someone who's like also a little mentally cuckoo <laughs> I'm just saying I don't know is that toxic I don't know Like, I just feel like people are more empathetic like that. Like, people understand. Anyway. Like, I don't know, the flirt... Uh, oh wait, a lot of flirt people I know are dickheads, really. I only flirt with people if I'm interested in them. Like, after an established amount of time. Because I don't flirt with people right off the bat. Like, I only... I feel like I have to be friends with people first. And then decide whether or not I want to flirt. And I was talking to my friend about this. He was like, no, I never I never would want to date my friends. They're like, the whole point of dating someone is to get to know them. And I was like, I concur, babes. I disagree because there's many people who I met who are like, wow, I think they're like so like, you know, that first infatuation. But then I get to know them. We're friends. And I was like, holy fuck. I thank God I didn't date you because I would never date you. Like, you know, I feel like you have to get past infatuation ship realizing how they are as a friend, as a person first, and then I'm like, okay, maybe I am interested in you. The first infatuation blinds people. Yeah, I think for me, it's just like, I'm such a romantic in my head, like, like I'm just like, wow, I meet someone, and I, that's how I fall in love with people so quickly, because I have like a whole like story, because I'm daydreaming, but then obviously people don't live up to that level, and it's like, oh, okay, never mind, uh, you're trash. <clears throat> Y'all, I have not been drinking enough water. I think I, I need to buy some more <laughs> liquid IV. I'm so sorry. I know, friends, I should be drinking more water. But, you know, I'm also, like, mentally unstable. So give me a break. <laughs> Even though, again, I'm okay. Could I'm not, like, that mentally unstable where it's, like, really bad. But, like, you know. Anyway. <laughs> At least people disappointing me makes gym easier. Oh my god. Mm. 
when I don't know. I'm glad there's the there are people like you out there where you can turn something like damn disappointment into working harder. Cause like if I am not mentally okay, my workouts are shit. Like like it takes me like like twice the amount of time to like get it together to like do the workout. Cause you know, I'm like ah. like the like being mentally strong to like at least do the exercise. I think it's not healthy though. I mean, it's not, but at least you look good, babes. <laughs> you know, at least there's something. Yeah, I don't know. I just think about like the time where I was seeing like a doctor like four days out of the seven days out of the week. Um, and man, those like that period of my life, which. I'm, I'm a lot better now. Um, I keep reiterating that because I don't want be, people to be concerned, okay? Uh, that was really hard. I remember working out during those times and they were like, we're glad that you're like trying to get endorphins and stuff. I was like, yeah, but it's hard. It's like, it was so hard. It was like climbing up a mountain every day. Just like the mental crazy. I'm glad you're still around though. Thank you. I'm glad you're also still around. Also, I recently came across like TikToks of like widowers who have had lost people to COVID. And honestly, honestly, I don't know how people do it. Like, like, I feel like I would probably just die out of heartbreak too. Like, the way people describe, like, people like that remind me, like, oh, there's still, like, love in the world. And I'm just like, but how, how are you, like, still okay? Because I would just be, like, sobbing every day. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna try and stop talking because I'm gonna break down and the gym is busy. The gym is busy? Post-Christmas? Everyone trying to work off their Christmas meals? Christmas. I don't know, what do people normally think on Christmas? Like, I don't- I don't really know what's the vibe. But like, I know, like, in Mexican households, it's like tamales, or like... I don't know. Are there other options? I don't know. I do enjoy that random holiday in January where it's like a second Christmas or something and you have to like cut this bread, the king's bread. Look, I never claimed to be a Spanish expert, okay? I never claimed- I never claimed this. I can barely speak English or Viet, so. The keep your expectations low. <laughs> oh, oh my god, I'm gonna run out of time. El Dia de los Reyes? Is that right? Probably not. <laughs> oh no, oh my. Okay, okay, this is the vibe. This is the vibe. Someone just steals my map? Okay, that's that's okay. I wasn't stressed about it, anyway. What is going on? Why is everyone jumping in the map? What is going on? Why are people training? What the, what the fuck? Anyway. I enjoy that random holiday, because, you know, we love a <laughs> mini choking hazard <laughs> with the random baby in the bread. And, um, you know, it's like, oh, next year you, you make all the tamales, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, <laughs> I think it's just funny. It's like, what, what is this? Something about Jesus, I'm sure, but it's funny to me. And depending on the place you go, sometimes I think the king's bread is nice. I think it could be actually pretty good because we like carbs. <laughs> also, I feel like this may come off as conceited. 
I feel like no one can care and love like I do of a lot of people. Understandable. That's how I feel too. Like I feel like uh, if I really like someone, I will literally sorry my phone. <laughs> I will literally probably sacrifice more of my life in order to make other people happy. But that is toxic behavior, and I'm trying to like get over that. Like like I'd probably take a bullet for someone if I really like cared about them, you know. But I don't know if they would do the same for me. It's called biting and chewing your food, your ears. I'm sorry, the freaking my I had to save my phone. Okay, are you talking about biting a baby? Those things are made out of plastic in the bread. What do you mean? You're not supposed to eat the baby either. Like, get your- get your baby out of the mouth. Ah. <gasps> the sad part is that I take a bullet even for people who stab me in the back. Oh my. It's like, do you know that there are, like, red flags? Like, do you know that there are, like, snakes, I suppose? Because I don't know. I don't really fuck with people who are snakes. You say that like I don't live in a Mexican household, so do you eat the baby or what? Are you saying you eat the baby? Are you- is this a confession? No? <laughs> okay, because it was a little unclear about what you're trying to say. You have a tendency to ignore red flags. You see, but obviously you stop chewing and take it out. Is that not a choking hazard? <laughs> oh my god, you you basically chewed up baby Jesus. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> just, what I just said. Um Let me hop on to my other character real quick. I don't know. I just, I think it's nice. I don't know. In all my situationships this year, like the, the red flags were there and I just ignored them for entertainment, honestly. I didn't think that I was really gonna get, oh shit, get anything out of it. I mean, it was really for amusement. But like, Like, I don't know, I feel like I I put myself through people who had red flags and I was just like, I was, I was suffering and I don't, I don't want to like suffer anymore. Like, I, I feel like I really learned in my time of like just being by myself that I need to value myself first. It's just like the whole like putting the, the mask on an airplane, like in a case of emergency you gotta focus on yourself first and then the other person and also that's another reason why like it's like th therapists are here for a reason that like, you gotta work on yourselves and you can't really take blame for anyone else either oh wait I think I can do... I think I can get the next level of Monster Park. Oh. Skip. We're gonna get the... yeah, we're gonna get the cutscene. Is this gonna be loud? I actually have not seen this. Because I always skip it.
I would say fuck Lucid as a boss. I hate her. The music in the background? <laughs> Alright. Um... I'm going to hell anyways, what does it matter? Like, I do the best to clear out my red flags, but I know there's stuff I'm not self-aware of. It's like more so like when you think back about it, like, damn, I didn't, I like overlooked that. You know, that tattoo, I want something that's not emotional pain. Look forward to it, that's why she, and why she looks so fucking small. She is small. She's like a little elf. Her whole lore is that she, because all the elves were frozen via the, the old uh, war back in the day. But because she was always like a loner girl, her mental, like her mental brain was really strong. So she, her brain, her magic created this whole fantasy world. Short people scare me. I agree. Am I scary? I, I am looking for a new tattoo. I really want to redesign my very first tattoo, which is a cemetery, like a gravestone. And um, I will say the fine, the like... The, the fine line, the lettering on it is like really bad, <laughs> but I'm probably, I don't know. I need to get it redone. I really want to redo it, but I kind of like how like, it's very, it's giving very first, like first tattoo energy. Troll vibes, I agree. Um, I really do want a new tattoo. I, I'm going to the east coast very soon and i was gonna get tattooed there then i was like Ugh, i'm only there for a short amount of time do i really want to be doing all that i know and then i recently found an artist here now i was like okay i could do i don't know i'm i don't know why i want my next tattoo to be like i always imagine myself like Okay, first of all, there's a budget. There's a budget. Tattoos are very expensive. Especially the last two I got, like, you know, almost a year ago. <sighs> so. Oh, you gotta have that budget. And I currently do not have the budget for a tattoo. But then my mental really requires a tattoo, honestly. Anyway. After you mention it, I kind of want to commission Miss Aileen for a, a Memento Mori tattoo. Um, let's see. What would it be, though? Let me, sorry, let me look. Yeah, I'm trying to look. I'm like, what would it be? What? Like, I don't really know what Memento Mori is. I apologize. I feel like we've had this conversation before, but again, my PTSD in the short term memory. That's why I, that's why I was checking. I was like, what? There's Google. Yeah, that's what- and then I- okay, look. I just googled it, and now I remember. Look, I have PTSD. My memory shit. I apologize. It's so awkward trying to tell people that I have poor memory because I have dealt with trauma in my life. I try to say it very casually in the same- way that i tell people that i'm pan oh yeah by the way i'm pan like i try to say it very casually but then like it's a like i feel like people have to process the words that i'm saying oh i have ptsd <laughs> and they're like what anyway i'm not judging but like i just think about every time i tell people i'm like i have ptsd and i feel like people think that i'm joking but i keep saying it enough that i'm like no i'm not joking like i really have ptsd um which is really sad but I'm trying, okay? I make an attempt. I do remember some stuff about people. Mm -hmm. 
like, you know, how, like, I can barely remember what I did yesterday. Which, frankly, was probably mainly Maple Story. Sometimes I wonder how much my memories are blocked out by trauma or your chemo brain damage. I want to see like a, like a, is it a CAT scan? Is that what looks at your brain? Is that correct? Wait. Google. CAT scan. There's several scans. Wait, CT. MRI. Anyway, I wanted to basically look at a before and I wish I and obviously I can't do that now, but like a before and after like what my brain looked like before I had PTSD. <laughs> or like before I had my first like depression. Before I, you know, was an optimistic person. Be um because, because you know mine's is pretty fucked. Um like as a psych person who also took like um like neuro uh psychology i think i don't know i just think it's cool to see but also just like <laughs> yeah that's right bitches i have proof that i'm fucked <laughs> is that the correct way to be looking at that situation probably not but it would give me validation Oh my god. I can't do this. This is gonna take- Dude, I have five minutes left. I can't do this. I know. Um. Let's see, when- when there was that whole Stranger Things moment in the last season where like Eleven re recovers from PTSD, like her brain blocking out those memories, I was like, damn, I feel seen right now. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not gonna save people's lives with magical powers, but felt seen. Watching stream triples my gym time. Why are you watching? You could just listen to me. Cause this is... Is this the content? That we desire, that we're trying to achieve? Holy shit, am I gonna finish this in time? Okay, drag. I see. I'm saying my content is mediocre. What is... Like, I don't know. Why are you getting offended? I see how it is. Why? Oh no, I fell. It doesn't even feel like 4 o'clock. You know, I looked at my, uh, I, I get concerned for people who engage in like, you know, that like toxic gym behavior as in like, you know, working your body a lot. I get concerned, but then I look at my own, <laughs> my own shit and I was like, oh shit, I only did like two rest days this entire month, which was yesterday, Christmas, and then like on Tuesday. So I literally was like working out all the time. Basically on my feet or doing something. Uh, so yeah. We're a hypocrite. But like not really. Because I feel, I don't know. I, does, I feel like roller skating isn't real. Like even though I do burn like a lot of calories from it. I don't know. It just doesn't feel real, okay? Why is this like Danny DeVito penguin? Oh my god, not Danny DeVito. We love Danny DeVito, though. Or do we? I don't know. I don't know. Do we? I don't know what he does. I've only ever seen him in, like, that one episode of Friends. So, like, do we like him? Do we stand him? What's the general consensus on that? I don't really know him.
Can I finish this in time? I think I will. Holy shit, this took me like 10 minutes to do. It's a hypocrisy for me. But I feel like y'all actually like do stuff. I feel like I roll escape, but like there's no change. Like, I feel like my working out is not the same, like, level. Like, it's not real. It's imposter syndrome. Like, do I work out that hard? I feel like I don't. But the Danny DeVito Spider-Man isn't in Across Spider-Man Spider-Verse and I'm finishing Cancer's job. Oh. Wait, let me see. Hey, am I gonna finish this in time? I have- Oh my god. I have less than a minute. Okay, that did a little. Please tell me I have a uh, space in my inventory. Please tell me I have a space in my inventory. Okay. Holy shit. That took 10 minutes! Anyway, let me look now. Here's a here's a penguin. Oh, was he in the TV show or something? Because I was like, I don't remember. I don't remember him being in the Spider-Man universe. Let's send a picture. Super excited to see Miguel O'Hara across the Spider-Verse. Ooh. Okay. Also, I think it's pretty cool that we've all come to associate that the word penguin, penguin, <laughs> penguin, uh, penguin is like associated with the mafia villain esque. Like, you know. Some I need to stop saying you know I'm gonna I'm gonna die <laughs> I'm gonna cry and die. It's spoof Spider Man by the way. What does that mean? I don't know the lore of Spider Man. I'm not really into Spider Man as like some. I feel like some people view Spider Man like their hero and stuff. Unfortunately, I don't have a t that attachment to Marvel characters. I feel. My favorite Marvel character is Peggy Carter, and that's the only emotional attachment that we can get because she's fucking a badass. We love Peggy Carter. I am the biggest Peggy Carter fan. <laughs> we love. Except I didn't see her Peggy Carter short, like the 15 minute one. But like her whole TV show, mwah, chef's kiss. Or was it a, was it a movie? I don't know. Do you think Miguel O'Hara is epic for Mexican representation? All right. I feel like people so know so much about comics and I know nothing. I know nothing, Jon Snow. I'm Jon Snow. Hang on, I was just dissociating for a second being like ah oh. i don't know why i just started thinking about um <laughs> well something else i was like daydreaming i was like oh yeah Th which is what i would typically do while playing this game just like start daydreaming but 
but yeah, I don't know. I didn't realize that so many people know so many like things about certain comic book characters, and I do not. I just watch the cinematic series as it is, and then I watch new rock stars where they deep dive into everything. And I'm like, all right, cool. And I have not seen She Hulk or Miss um, Marvel, which I really should. Maybe no, I don't. I don't know where do I find. I don't really have the the time like I used to. I mean, granted, I used to watch really late at night with my friends and stuff, but that's not the situation anymore. That's not the circumstances anymore. Oh. These fucking plates, man. I'm not doing MP with those strangers. Comics is basically what I grew up on videos. Because comics kind of expensive. Okay, so you just learn your comic book knowledge via, like, YouTube, probably? You read that in a very odd way, but, like, same. Monks is basically what I grew up on. What? On videos? Because that... Because comics kind of expensive. What? D did I read that right? I feel like you didn't add any punctuation, so I feel like I read it as it is. What? Comics was basically what I grew up on videos that is because comics kind of expensive what is that the one? i think i read that correctly no you didn't add any punctuation i can feel the neurons i can feel the the like crevices forming in my brain from this do you ever feel that I feel like sometimes I can actually feel like, oh yeah, I'm like cognitively like learning something. Feeling the wrinkles form. Try not to have a smooth brain. Oh shit, I'm 30 seconds behind the schedule. Uh, and, and I only had 30 seconds the last time to like fight all those mobs. Okay, we panic a little bit. Please, just die. Just die. Please. Oh, I don't- I really don't know if I'm gonna finish in time. Please don't stop making fun of me. I'm like, I'm stressed over this stupid ass game that I'm not optimizing. What does this do? Oh, yeah. I forgot I had that skill. Okay, okay, this is the final map. We can do this. We've got three minutes. Stop. Oh, the Maple Story music started playing. But so low. Okay, I can't fucking adjust because I'm in this fight. Hey, just don't miss the staircase. Okay. Okay. 
We got three minutes. How did this take me exactly 20 minutes? I'm not standing. This is not good energy. This is stressful energy. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! I hit the task manager! Oh my god! Are we still streaming? I hope so. Okay. Oh shit, I had that move? <laughs> what the fuck was that? I never used that. Well, the fact that I work out to make muscle big but muscle cramps whenever I actually try to use it. <laughs> well, do you stretch though? But at least muscle big. A bunga bunga. <laughs> Have you all seen that thing where it's like, hey, can you try like pretending you're putting on deodorant while <laughs> also walking with your knees bent? Same energy. Why is that on that key? Why did I put it there? Why did I re suddenly remember mid doing all of this that that was there? I think that's not how be how that be biologically working. What? Muscle? A bunga bunga? Okay. We we're better off that time. What is this? This close to zero traction. Tax enemies inflicting additional damage after attack ends. Oh, I should just hold on this key. Because, like, this hand stretch that I would have to do from this to this. Whoa. I accidentally um, ripped my headphones from my ear. And I realized what I sound like while I'm talking. <laughs> Weightlifting is literally stretching under tension. Okay, stretch without tension then. Just saying. Oh. Sorry, I just saw the Danny DeVito photo. <laughs> oh. I thought he was the penguin. Not... Oh. It doesn't make cramps go away. That's not how it works. But you could stretch though. <laughs> I'll have you. That took me 25 minutes. <laughs> oh no. Anyway, let's fucking go. Let's, we, got, we got things to do. Oh shit, I, I didn't plan this out. What do I need? What do I need? I need a Mihao. So that's gonna be easy though. Um, I need an explorer. Or an Ilium. Or any of the grandest ones. Oh shit! I have to think of a name! Um, no! <laughs> um. Oh god, this is like the harder part. I'm playing Maple, sorry. Um, fuck okay, I'm gonna play an explorer and I need to be a thief. Yep. Yep. Um. Oh shit. This is gonna be 10 minutes of me doing this. Mm. Graphic design is my passion. Okay. This is this doesn't even matter. Why am I changing this? Okay. What do I name this character? It's gonna be a shadower. Shadower. Wait. wait what are the classes? Um. <laughs> My brain, Maple Story, Explore Thieves. It's Dual Blade, Shadower, and um, <laughs> shit. 
Night Lord? Night Lord? Is that right? It doesn't fucking matter. We're make making one of them. Is that the penguin? Call it Among Us. Oh. Oh. What do I name my character? Shadower? Shadower. The only song that I know that has shadow in it is Beast. Shadow. The song is literally called Shadow Beast. There's also a song called Shadow Beast by League of Legends. Ew. No scan. Um. Or do I just name it after a song that I'm into right now? What song am I into? I'm into a song called Rebound. I don't know if we love that. I'm also really into a song that's called Forgive Me, but I don't want I don't want that vibe. Bye Bye by Red Velvet. Already in use. Just names it Shadow. Wouldn't wouldn't that be sick if we had that? When I wake up, I feel cozy, yeah. Can you hold up? Don't need no coffee, yeah. Got no makeup. How do you Oh god? This is like how I go, well, thinking about names. Bon Bon Chocolate. Isn't that a song? Wait, wait, isn't that also a, oh my god, me panicking on stream? A 17 song? 17. Shadow? It is okay. <sighs> it's such a good seventeen song too. Yes, Everglow. That's a good song. Bomb on chocolate. Maybe I'm a shadow of you. Should I do that? Shadow of you. Is that too simpy? Simpleton. I should do shadow shadow. What's more aesthetic? Shadow of you or shadow shadow? Yes, to which 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 part? I really like that song too. It's kind of a sad song. Cause it's like all about like like being like the ghost of someone. Like Shadow Shadow was taken. <laughs> um like post breakup vibes. The other one is very simply simply. The shadow. I don't know. That's how the song goes. I'm looking at the lyrics. Or do I name it My Shadow? Because that's also part of the lyrics. My Shadow. Is that too simple? I don't like the way that's spelled. That's very giving, giving my space too. Already in use. We can't do that either. <laughs> Me stressing. Every song, every K pop song I know that has the word shadow in it, they just repeat the word shadow. Alright, we might we might have to go with pain. Oh god. God, we we're on a time crunch. We gotta go. We gotta go. Ugh. Don't love that, but whatever. It's fine. If you're a karat, this one's for you, 17 fans. Oh god, it's fine. I'm never gonna play this character ever again. Just just the 150. We hit, we're an hour in. We're definitely gonna only be like 50 by the time I finish in today's stream. Oh. Hello, we run this city vibes. Hello, we run yeah, anyway, I don't, I don't know how it goes. Please, please, 
why can't I cut this? Why can't I skip this? I was like, I'll go easier. I'm very sore before I go to the gym and then something pisses me off. Oh no, I'm so sorry. But like, good gym workout. Are you more hydrate? Thank you. I don't know if y'all can hear. Crunch, crunch, munch, munch. Mm. I'm so hard. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, I hit the mic. Since you don't like water, apparently I do. I do. I just don't drink. I don't. I, I mean, I barely eat as well. So pain all over. Mm. You should have ate some more snack then. I don't have that many snacks. <gasps> we can skip, bitches. We can fucking skip. Let's go. Thief. Yes, we adore. I guess I can force you to eat something. Yeah, but I don't really have snacks in my house all the time. I wish I had healthier snacks. Like, I'm such a fucking chip muncher. I love chips. I love the crunch. So, I need, like, good alternatives. And we can't be, like, a salad. I need that, like, crunch. What's wrong? I'm just dying. Quest chips? That was good. Or like do veggie chips, are those good? Oh my god, this is old school maple. I'm being a thief again. Oh my god. Oh shit, all the boys are gonna come to my yard. Every if okay. <laughs> no offense. Hopefully none of my maple friends are watching, but if you're a fucking thief main in this game. You're a little toxic. You're a little toxic. It's just... You're a little toxic. That's just the truth. No one plays a thief and aren't slightly creepy, you know? I'm so sorry if any of my friends felt offended by that, but like... It's true. Lucky seven. I don't want to throw. I'd rather do the stabs because that's free. The stab. Uh, we need a fucking flash jump. And then double stab everything. Control. Alright. What do I do? I'm only level 10. What do I do? Okay. I got a pet. I need to be 30. And then I need that, okay. Wait, I think I saved some shit in the storage in this game, no? On my other character? This one. Extraordinary. You don't know if my pal's gone to shit, but I don't mind them. Oh shit. Wait, why did I leave on this map? Um. Not a good position to necessarily be in. Crying City. How oh, cute. We love an axe. You can't forget. You forgot you can't spam water. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All my maple friends have abused that. So, we can't spam water. Mm. Any luck gear? 
Okay, I'm just gonna throw shit in here and hope for the best. Warrior? Wait, what is this? It's a warrior glove. I don't need this. I don't need any of this. I'll figure it out. Just uh, give me the pet food. Well, I'm not maple, a maple friend. You're, there's, the rules are the same. This, again, is not a democracy. That's not, I don't know, no. Do this. There's so much to do on a, on a burning character. I'm glad that my slots are being open. Was that everything? Good. How do I get out? Okay. Are there quests that I'm supposed to do? Like, how to be a shadow? Uh, no, don't do that in progress. I'm doing nothing. Where are all the people? What do I do? Where do I go? Fuck it. I'm gonna uh, just figure this shit out. Why did I equip a glove? I need... Stabby Stabby. I actually don't know what shadowers use a glove or a knife. Well, you know, we'll, f we'll figure it out as we go along. I'm after I'm picturing balls after maple music was coming from the gym. But I'm not even playing maple music. I'm just- I'm playing twice or like my K-pop instrumental playlist. I'm freaking playing Stacy Girls. We're going down right now. Why the fuck is Maple louder? Because I can't hear shit? What do you mean? It's just my background music. I don't have my game music on. Is, uh, every song varies in audio levels, so I, d I don't really know. Oh no, I'm being overshadowed by my music again. But it, that's okay, we all stand. <laughs> We're gonna stand the music. Hopefully I didn't have to like do the quests and shit. Like fuck Melia. We are just gonna kill some octopi. Let's see. Me trying to get to 150. I think I'm- yeah, I probably have to do a little bit more maple content because... What a time crunch. I need to get- <coughs> whoa, my voice. One of my other characters to 150. What? What? Not 150. This character to 150, but my other character to 250. By the end of next month. Which is January. How the fuck is it January 2023? Yeah, just let me know if the audio levels are too loud and I'll just turn them down. Maple's my favorite game. I was actually playing a Pokemon last night. Which is why I really like a Nintendo Switch, because I play games in bed a lot. What is the up jump on this character? Why is my snail doing absolutely nothing? Okay, we have a shirt. We have pants. Oh, we have more clothes. I'm, not, I'm too low level? What the heck? 
Okay, at least I can put something in my mouth, apparently, in this game. Mega flash jump. Uh, I never really use Dark Sight. I feel like Dark Sight's only good for bossing. Haste, we gotta be fast. Fast ninja thieves things. I don't think this is optimal to get to level 30, to be honest. I think Edel Sign is probably better. Are you, fucking, are you fucking hate Arvin's story? I only got to um, the second Titan. So I was like, oh, why is this shit sad? And no one told me. I was like, why do y'all fucking like Arvin? <laughs> I was like, oh. Not me crying on Christmas. I just wanted to fly, dude. I just wanted to fly. Fly high like God 7. They have a song called Fly to reiterate. I don't know, every time my phone rings in uh, Pokemon, I worry that it's Nimona trying to be like, hey, let me battle you. <laughs> She's like level 40. You've done three Titans, but not the flying upgrade yet? I don't know. I'm I don't know if they just accidentally do it in random order. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm like level 20 and I'm trying to do the Dawn fan one. The robot Dawn fan, and I'm like, this is a level 40 fight, but vibes. It's not. I'm a wiki user. Wait, what? What did I say? <laughs> My PTSD is shining real bright right now. This is so old school. I remember these maps from back in the day. They still look like this today? Damn. What is the up jump? Oh my god. If any of y'all are thief players, let me know. <laughs> they use wiki of the game to see which, which one gives you what. <laughs> is the flying one the last one? Because that's the one we need. Because I, I thought I was going- I went to the Flying Titan, but it gave me water. So I was like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> like, dude. I guess I'm- it's cool that I'm not drowning anymore, but it'd be great if I could fly. I'm just saying. And then nimble body. Do I already have a shadower? I don't know if I do. This doesn't look familiar to me. Oh, yeah, I need to check. I need to check. I'm only playing for nine minutes. <laughs> Because you got boosty, water, and higher jump. I got higher jump. What's boosty? Okay. Old school. This one's a cannon master. Evan. Blade master. So that's the dual blade. Mercedes. Other Mercedes from a different world merge. Zero. Other dual blade from world merge. Thunderbreaker. Blaze wizard. Phantom, my main, Adele, Baron, Kana, Ark, Demon Avenger, this is a Kane, Beast Tamer, Wind Archer, Nightwalker, Young, Beto, Lara, Bob Hunter, Battle Mage, Kenick, Luxman, Demon Slayer, Luminous, Bishop, 
Club Master, Blaster, Kadena, Angelic Buster. Wow, I made Angelic Buster? <laughs> I forgot I did that. Buster. Shade. I have a shade? I forgot I did that too. <laughs> this is my my second main that I'm working on. Shit, when did I do all that? <laughs> I don't remember. And then Dawn Warrior. Okay, so I don't have the other ones. Okay. Let's do travel faster, the dash. Uh, but let's go over spray her perfume, please, my poor nostrils. Because it sounds like you're quote doing it out of order. Oh yeah, I'm trying to do it out of order. Just give me fly. We just need fly. Um, sometimes I wonder if I accidentally overspray my myself with perfume because I can't really smell it on myself. So I don't know. I almost bought another Byredo fragrance because they're on sale and my friend has like a Bloomingdale sale. Like, associate sale. But I was just really like, I don't really need it. It smells really unique and good, but I don't really know if they last that long. But then recently I just like, I'll be randomly sitting there and then boom, the fragrance will like emit. And I'm like, oh yeah, wow, I do smell good. Do I know the flying upgrade titan? Yeah, isn't it? What level is it? It's probably like 50, huh? I keep changing up my team. So that's what's what's taking me so long. Because then... My friend gave me a cloister, a level 40 cloister, but then it's an ice water type. So that, get, that leaves me really vulnerable. It's so like, I just need a regular water type. I need, if, uh, if I can get a mudkip or a gastrodon again, like the water ground typing is just so superior. Like I want an ice type on my team, but it has to be like ice steel or something. I don't know. I got the Dosei Gabbana, the one. It smells great, but performance and projection is straight ass. Yeah. So many people in my store bought YSLY this year, and I'm like, damn, everyone's smelling like a fuckboy this time. <laughs> Granted, YSLY smells really good, but too many people bought it, so it's like too overused now. So it's like too associated with fuckboys. Which is unfortunate. Like, damn, they found the secrets? Damn. My team's so fucking weird, and all I know is that for Coco's evolution and <laughs> think a tink. Fair. Do I have to swap to Valentino? Maybe. See, everyone wears light blue by Dulce. Uh, Dulce, Dulce, Dolce and Cabana. Permanently, I don't know. I've been wearing Byredo every day. Um, I know when I go traveling, I'm gonna buy two more fragrances because there's like limited edition fragrances for the locations I'm going to and I'm like, ah, uh, fuck me. You hate light blue. You do. I mean, I feel like it smells good on like men and women. I just, I just think it smells fresh. Like it's a good starter fragrance, I would say. You wonder, I think it's objectively overrated. You think so? I think it smells good. I think most people probably would agree that it smells good. Mm. Nimble body all the way. I can't believe I just killed a bunch of octopus <laughs> to get to level 30. I should really switch maps, honestly. I'm gonna kill like rocks. Give me get me into Edelstein.
I think it may be time to swap to Michael Malone Ocean Noir. Oh, it smells good, but like too many people. That's how I feel with the wine now. I just think it's like there's too many people that bought it this year and I'm like, oh no. Like it's it's too much. I'm very glad that um, the holiday season is over for retail workers because, gosh, that was a moment. Like, we're seeing all the peoples come in who typically would not come in. Also, the amount of guys who had who were like, um, can you only pick up a fragrance for my girlfriend? I'm like, okay, what does she like? And they're like, I don't know. I'm like, you, you, you know nothing about your girlfriend? <laughs> like, goddamn. I get it that they're in the trenches, kind of like in, out of their environment because, you know, beauty stores are very uh, intimidating, but like, <laughs> like, bro, you have to know something. Like, does, what does she like? Does she like to smell sweet? Does she like to smell like oceany, uh, fresh? Yeah. I think the lip perfume smell a little deeper, at least it's so bad. Like, sis, get a new lens. <laughs> Honestly, like, do you not pay attention to your girlfriend enough to know, like, what she likes? Or, like, because I feel like, I feel like, um, for me, I don't like to, I don't like florals that often. If it's a floral, it has to be, like, a creamy floral. I don't know how to describe it to you. If you smell freaking Byredo Young Rose, I think that's what it's called, it smells creamy. If you smell Sakura, um, or Cherry Blossom by Jo Malone, I, I like that one, too. They're like not overly florally. I also really like the KBD uh, Saint scent over the center scent, but I don't really wear that one anymore. I used to back when I feel like I don't know. I wear I wear Edgy scents. I feel like like something unique. Like come on, you gotta people gotta pay attention a little. Okay. Blue top versus the other top. Oh, okay. The cane. A beanie. Wow. Nope, not doing that. I don't need a glove. Other beanie. Red shorts. No, I think the black were better. <laughs> Wow, I look so old school. Like with the red, if I had put on the red, that's like a matching outfit. You're not gonna lose your masculinity for going to a beauty store. It's a vibe, in my opinion. I like dark and musky. I know what you're talking about. I pretty good nose, but it's Gucci. But Gucci guilty makes a question. Which Gucci guilty? There's like four, and I hate it when people are like, "Um, how do you know this is the right one?" And I'm like, "I work here." I know which Gucci Guilty is, like, they're all, there's, like, five of them, like, yeah, like, when people are like, oh, can I get Gucci Guilty, I'm like, okay, which one, and they're like, what, just Gucci Guilty, and I'm like, which one, and then we just end up arguing, and I'm like, I don't know if you can see clearly right in front of you, but, like, all of these bottles say Gucci Guilty on them, so, which is why I'm politely asking you, which one, <laughs> like, I don't know what's not clicking, babe. Also, God, I'm gonna sucker punch these brands for naming all of their fragrances the same. Marc Jacobs? Why the fuck do you name everything Daisy? Uh. Y'all, I wanted the Marc Jacobs Kiki boots so badly. The $500, $600 ones. They're like, they live in my head rent free currently. But I know I don't need them. But like, I want them. Anyway, that's my Christmas wish list. I'm just kidding. <laughs> No, that's like too much of a gift to give someone. Like five hundred dollars? That's crazy. Anyway.
Gucci Guilty Black. Oh, the green one. Which I don't even understand why it's in a green bottle. And the carbon one is also in like a different bottle. I'm like, dude. Gucci. Why the fuck are you out here like this? Okay, I definitely need to go to a different map than constantly kill these, like, octopi. You and I, dancing in the moonlight. And now I'll make the budget too, but Apex Rojo? Is that a fragrance? Or like, you mean the game Apex? What? Orojo? What? I need to kill some different mobs. Uh, wow, you're not letting me fast travel? I was like, what is that? And then it's just the mushroom. Eel sign. I have a- okay, I, I really don't know what I'm doing. I feel like I was supposed to like talk to Athena Pierce or something, but... We're trying. Please, I barely play games fair. Somehow I play games. I, somehow I guess I'm a gamer. I'm like gamer adjacent. Because I don't really consider myself a gamer if we're talking like gatekeeping and stuff. Like sweaty gamers do. They're like, oh, you're not a gamer. You don't even play, I don't know, League of Legends, first person shooting games. I don't know. The toxic ones. Um, let's see. Why do you keep on other things? Yeah, I do. I do. But I feel like it's not toxic, though. I'm not like, uh, you, you cannot do this. You cannot be this. You know? I try to at least like let people know. If I give keep on other things, I'm like, okay. If you're gonna say you like K-pop, at least listen to actual K-pop, not just like BTS. You know? We play COD because I'm actually good at it and you can turn your brain off and get you and you spend too much money on that way. You don't play Overwatch anymore? Big boulder and baby boulder die. Oh my god. This is like Korg. You want to? But. But you hate being support mom? Oh, you're a support? I don't know. I wonder if gaming companies like understand like the facilitation of like toxic behavior. I don't know. There are support player on most games. I don't know. Okay, job advance. The Dark Lord. You know, in the old games, he used to be hanging upside down. What happened to that? Or uh, back in the day, he used to be hanging upside down. An assassin? A dagger. 
bandit. Well, I have to choose a bandit. Let me make sure I, re I read this. Okay, I need to be a bandit. Yeah, I'll have to have that. Accept preview. Oh, the resolution? The resolution! Okay, let's accept. Let's watch the gameplay right here. Right here and right now. Continue playing twice. Oh wow. Oh wow. The revamp's cool. I missed it because I was looking at something else. Oh wow. It's like an arc. That's sick. That looks so cool. Full arcane weapons and everything. Arcane set. Dual blade. I have one and if you're a dual blade main, you're sus. You are probably toxic. Should I do a maple story horoscope ranking? If you play dual play, you're you probably have some social issues and you probably should stop hitting on girls in the game. You always love playing Anna, Anna, and Baptiste though? Okay. Oh, he sent me the penguin. <laughs> What's happening? Oh. Let me make sure I'm doing the celebration. I'm so confused. Why is it not letting me do the actual celebration? Draw this away because we're not using them. Wear it for a second, and then stop wearing it. Okay, throw that away. Oh god, it's getting confusing with the fact that I can pick up claws. I need a dagger. How about claws are better? That seems weird. Okay. They're just enablers. So like, I've ended up in the horoscope and Terra card TikTok, and some of the cards are pretty cool. I think they're pretty cool too. I wish I had more time to like understand stuff. I'm so confused. Where's the celebration? Do we not have the puzzle board? I'm so confused. What's going on? Let me look at my other character. Sorry, I just need to see. I enjoy witch talk, like witches, I enjoy uh, tarot cards, I enjoy horoscope people, they are so cool. How come I get that on this character? It's only once? Oh wait. Yeah, they hit, this game hates me. Okay. Uh, Savage Blow. Let's just go all in on that. I'm not going to be using the claw moves. It looks really cool though. I will say I like the way the remaster looks. This has been happening for like months and I do be understanding what the houses mean now. Ooh. I can't I can't read the the natal chart just by looking at it. Being like, oh your house is in this state.
I need I need more good uh, witch or horoscope talk. Send me send me your fave pages so I can learn via um, short term memory. Whoa! Why do shadows kill so fast? Damn! Look at the range. It's kind of nice. Look at it go. It's fast. I thought assassins were gonna be faster. Now I understand what really matters is the rising sign. I don't know. I feel like rising, your sun sign, your moon sign, I feel like I need to know all three to know you as a person. I did uh, a Leo double Taurus, like double rising and uh, moon, and I feel like that just makes so much sense. I was like, holy shit. Can't. The last few people I've been into, their horoscopes have been Aquariuses. I was like, am I okay? Like, what's going on? Like, what's going on? What's happening here? Can I just level? That didn't level me? Please? Okay. What time is it? Okay, I have 20 minutes, and then I can chill. I am currently on schedule for my life. Because I feel like being big Sag makes sense because you don't fit the Aries bill. Ooh, you're- wait, are you Sag rising or Sag moon? I do feel like you're a very down to earth person. Or actually, wait, I read it wrong. Isn't Sag like the other fire sign? I forget. I don't know that many uh, Sagittarius's in my life. I say that, and I guess I do know a couple of Sagittarius in my life, but not that closely. It's not. It's an Earth sign. Is it? I get Capricorn and Sagittarius confused for some reason. I don't know why. Like, I know they're different, but for some reason I get them mixed up in my head. When will we even get to 50 at the end of the stream in 15 minutes? Moon is Aquarius? Oh my god. Too many Aquariuses around me. Somewhere in their charts. I feel like that makes sense. Sagittarius is rising? Ooh. I love how I, I made you add me on CoStar and I forgot still. Hey everyone, add me on CoStar so we can uh, check it, <laughs> check out our uh, information, our compatibility. Excuse you. Thank you. Oh, please stop jumping up. What's this do? Okay, let's do one point on that. Save, I guess. Crit damage. So everything else is like a passive. Okay, got it. We can use some crit damage.
Hopefully this is speedier. I don't know. I only need a hundred more levels-ish. And then I'm done with this character for now. And then we wait until bonk event. Except I'm not going to be able to do that. Given the time constraint. I could just stream longer, but... I don't know, I need breaks. I need to like eat, drink water. Before I go roller skating. So I started using knee sleeves, and I realized how disgusting they'd be. What's a knee sleeve? Like, knee guards? Is that the same? Yeah, you have me on co-star, what do you mean? I know, I I know I have you on co-star. I still forgot. What is this song? Oh. I really do not like Ice Cream by uh, Blackpink. I really don't. This album was fucking weak. But I, it was just on my no copyright playlist. And I was like, yo, what is this song? <laughs> Me having the same reaction every time subconsciously. Okay. Turning my music back down. Are you on a grande? Is she on it? Is, I thought that was the one with Selena Gomez on it. I don't know. But the album was fucking bad. I'm sorry. All the collabs are bad. Like, I'm not even in- Okay, maybe I am an anti? I don't know. I, I like some of their music. I just don't understand how, why they're so popular. No? She's not on the album? Just saw a post? Okay. You're not an Ariana Grande stan? I don't know. I do feel for her a little bit in the way that I'm like, mm, she probably is going through some like... Um, body image issues considering like... Whoa. Like, she doesn't look like herself normally. Like, you know, you get what I mean? I hope that's not like condescending, but I was just like, she doesn't look like herself. Like Ariana Hanye, so. Please. <sighs> It's the borderline blackface for like me, but like she's in her like looking Korean era. <laughs> the squeaks that I'm making because it's just like, what is this? I mean, I kind of understand because I'm like one of those Asians that like tan so easily, like so easily. Like I can be really tan, um, but. Yeah, I don't know, in her case. Can't really condone it, nor do I think I can have an opinion. But Ariana isn't. But I don't know, like, isn't she Mexican? I don't know how, do y'all like tan like that though? Cause I'm a Southeast Asian. Like I look back and I was like, damn, I was like really, really tan. Like, Especially when I was like in cross country and in band, like I was so tan. Like I was really, really like, wow. Like which is why I guess maybe I always got like, uh, people people still ask me. I'm like they're like, are you Filipino or like are you Mexican? I'm like no. So, no, she's fucking Italian. Really? Oh my. Oh my, I did not know this about her. That's how much I do not know about her. I feel like back when she was on Victoria, she looked like pretty like Mexican or like Hispanic. Like, you know, the facial features to me. Maybe that's why I thought of that. It's crazy to think that like that's how she was and this is what 
she looks like now. I don't know. I guess it's time for her. Which I know, commenting on people's like appearances is not the move, but like... Is she ever gonna see this? <laughs> I'm just doing it out of a place of concern, and it's like, are you okay? Like, are you mentally okay? I know this sounds so mean, but like, no, honestly. Okay. It's a stereotyping for me. Am I being stereotypical? I hope not. But just like, you know, facial features and stuff. Or what else did I say? Oh, like other people stereotyping me? I've been called Filipino more times than I count. I don't know, it's very strange. Like when people ask me like, oh, like what's your ethnicity? And like, oh, what do you, this is, a, I don't know. I, I, it's a very weird question. <laughs> like one time I asked my coworker where she was from and I met like her city and she was like, what do you mean? And I was like, oh, like, what city are you from? Because, <laughs> like, because I was gauging. I was like, oh, how long does it take you to, like, get ready to go to work? Or, like, how long does it take you to get to work? But I guess I didn't I didn't realize until I said it. And she's like, what? And I was like, oh, yeah. I guess some people, like, ask that question. I'm like, oh, like, where are your parents from? And I'm like, I don't know. Because I'm not one that, like, would ask that question normally. And I actually meant it more like, Oh, like what city are you from because like I don't know because if, if you're driving an hour to work then that's like is it worth is this job worth the you, you know we we're just talking about like the financial like part of like getting to this work the job anyway I'm like huh if anything I would understand if you, you confuse me for white I don't know this is what I think about like like being a person of color is like there's so much that goes into it because like, as an Asian person, I never felt seen, to be honest. Like, not even by, like, the, the world. Obviously, by the world as a general, but, like, also in within the own Asian community. Like, the value of, like, like, a dark-skinned Asian is just, like, really hard. And I'm sure, like, that's how... I'm sure there's, like, self-racism with other communities, too. Like, you know, like, quote-unquote, the, the, like, oh, they're, like, a white-passing, like... Uh, Mexican or something. I don't know. It's just, it's very hard. And I think about this because, you know, Gloria Anzal Dua, like the book, like Borderlands, it's just that sensation of feeling like you're not fitting in. But like, this is a unique experience. I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to explain. I'm sorry, my bad. I'm trying not to look like an Edgar. Edgar Allan Poe. You th is that a Hispanic name? Do you think that's a common Hispanic name? I'm trying to think. Like how many of the- Do I know that many Edgars? I'll explain in a second. Okay. BRB. I was like, what? I went to the wrong room. Sad. Just do this on autopilot because we just know everything by the back of our hand.
No, I pressed on the wedding hall lady. Or fairy. Okay, we only need three more maps and then we can go to Drake's and like do our do the thing. But then do I want to though? I feel like me doing that path is just so tiring. And I don't have the link skills. So if I do the other quests, I don't know. That would definitely take me like 70. Would it take me longer? Question mark? I am going pretty fast though, I think. I don't know. <laughs> oh, Dex. I don't really know what steel does. Let's just see. Like, does it self heal? I don't know. Okay, there is an up jump. Good thing we figured that out. <laughs> oh, wait, there's two minutes left of the stream. Uh, <laughs> not me saying the word not me, but also. Let's see, I got to, I got to, to 50. I feel like I anticipated that, right? I guesstimated the amount of time it would take. And I was correct. I really shouldn't have done my dailies and stuff in game. Like while on stream. But then it, I refuse to be playing this game later. It's more of like a me thing. It's like, uh, I don't really want to. Okay, as much as I do like this move, this is it. We just have what, one mobbing move. That's it. The bandit lifestyle kind of hit different. Okay, I'm going to try to finish this quest line and then end stream. I feel like that's reasonable, plausible. Oh, I had to kill them. Okay. I was like, wow, I really haven't killed a hundred yet? Okay. Come on, let me in. Let me save the children. Why is it onion that looks like a pumpkin attacking me? What is this? Now we do turnips. And then we turn up. <laughs> what are these things that are falling? I've never seen these. Oh, that's the. Oh my god, that's the uh, effect from the shadower to self heal. Oh my god. I was like, I've never seen those. I didn't know they actually like dropped something. That's cool. Let's see. So still a potion that immediately recovers your HP or MP upon striking an enemy. You only heal one person per potion per enemy. But you can repeatedly attempt to steal until you succeed. Potions stolen from bosses fully restore your HP. Oh wow. Let's see. Yeah, that healed my... Oh, wow. Pretty good. That's pretty good. This class doesn't need any potions. I get it. I get why people play these. I get it. Well, if you're a dual blade, I'm not sure if I get it. I guess it looks... Gush. I guess it looks flashy. Like, that. that's probably the reason. You know, maybe I think I might quest it all the way through because I can't be bothered to like 
grind by myself. We're level 61. It's okay. We're almost done. <coughs> Do not forget the children this time, Jenna. I've done that multiple times. <laughs> and I just think it's funny how I just like forget them. Okay, we do that quest. We just we'll kill the mole king five more times and then I'm gonna end stream. Pretty good on the timing. More level 64, not bad. Hopefully, I don't know if I can do 100 levels in um, two hours next time. Back, what were we talking about? Edgar? I'm about to end my stream too. Mm. Oh well. What do you mean, oh well? It's the two hours. We're trying to be punctual for once. <laughs> Even though tomorrow I'm not going to be punctual, I'm going to stream late tomorrow. Because, you know, hanging out with friends, yada yada yada. Holiday season. Same thing. Having friends, I guess. <laughs> the conversation. But to eat. To hydrate. I think we all know that I need that. <laughs> I think my voice is truly going well. Like, in front of a client, my voice literally went out. I was like, whoa, what the heck is that? It was crazy. It's just so embarrassing. I was like, whoa, my voice. And they're like, oh, it's okay. And I was like, oh, have a good day. <laughs> like, croaking. Anyway. Wow, you could just have conversation in the DMs, too. I hate my voice. I hate my voice, too. People who are like, oh my god, Jenna, I want your voice. Or like, you have a girly voice. I'm like, do I? Do I? You're liars. I skipped it. Let's job advance real quick. Your voice is incredi incredibly soothing. See, people say that, and I'm like, is it? I feel like my voice is so monotone. Like, so monotone. Like, I could read a book. And, like, you know, I, I don't know if this is a universal experience of, like, when... In school, like, there would be a day where teachers just read a book to the students and everyone just listens. Is that an experience? I feel like I would be like that. I, I feel like I would be good at that. But I would just make everyone fall asleep. 19. This one looks edgy. Okay. That what that's what soothing means to be Jenna. But like soothing or boring. I feel like I'm walking a fine line there. Question mark, question mark. Yes. I feel like there's a difference between soothing and boring, you know? Anyway, um, I'm gonna go have a snack, kind of rest, hydrate before I work out again, <laughs> and I'm gonna go now.
It was nice to chat. Okay, five day response time. Don't mind. <laughs> I guess have fun. Good luck. I'm trying, okay? My, uh, you should see, if you think my, like, communication is bad right now, me to my in real life friends, oof. They're like, sometimes we're concerned about you, but as long as we see that you're still alive, it's good. And I was like, okay. <laughs> anyway. Um, I hope you have fun doing whatever you're doing. Thank you for the resub. Um, bro, please worry. <laughs> I mean, they do worry, but then it's not like I'm gonna reply to them in time. It's bad. Me and my really good friends are like, every time we see you, it's like, oh, like, it's like we chat so much. Talking about me? Oh, I worry too. Anyway, um, ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try to be concerned for you. <laughs> Just I naturally am concerned for you, but you get it. Please. The the dog huh? Look. I just need water. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, goodbye. I'll see you tomorrow night. Yes. Okay, goodbye. Have fun everyone. Goodbye, goodbye.